Hey everybody, Liam Clisham here for another Houdini quick tip. This time, nothing with Redshift, an actual quick tip about using groups and getting your first and last primitive selected or first and last point selected. Uh, starting in Houdini 16 or so, they really changed how you can select things. You can't just use $n. So I wanna walk you through the correct way of using groups and selecting your first and last point or first and last primitive. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So inside of Houdini, we're just gonna start with a nice clean scene. We can add anything. I think a grid's the best way to show this off. And why do I have two objects in there? All right, clear that one out. So here's our grid, and if I show a group like that and connect it there, turn it on, they're all selected. Do zero for the first one and dollar n for the last one, right? No, it hates that. Okay, so how about like a group by range? If I could just type properly, there we go. Come over here, turn that on, and I want the last one, right? Hates that too. So starting in Houdini 16, I believe, they started to change the group node and you have to do actual like vex parameters, not just an expression. So just to show that this is actually working, there it is selected with zero. And what we're gonna do is do a tick mark and type n prims, so number of prims, I'm gonna select that, do a open parentheses and quote and since we're just going to be using the grid we're not finding anything else we can just type a zero in there close parentheses and tick and you'll see nothing happens still and that's just because you need to add a subtract one at the end right there um, it's just when you do n by itself the number of prims it's it's adding one additional one in there so you need to cut it back by one. So nice and simple, easy little expression, but not, or easy line of vex, but not nearly as simple as $n. It kind of sucks a little bit, but really quick tip and easy to solve stuff that way. So that's it. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe or comment below. I'm really liking doing these Houdini tutorials. It's a nice change of pace away from Redshift. So I've gotten some good feedback from you guys already that you're liking it too. So I guess I'll keep doing them. Um, as always, you can find me as 531 pretty much everywhere on the internet or go to 531.com if you want to email me, reach out. Uh, I love having discussions with everybody. But again, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. See ya. Houdini quick tip.